Hey YouTube, what is up? JR here. Today I'm going to show you how to Wi-Fi tether on your Samsung Galaxy S2 Epic 4G Touch. First things that you would need to have in order to have Wi-Fi Tether ring available on your Galaxy S2 is you need to make sure your phone is rooted. If you know your phone is rooted, you can get, begin these steps, but in order to make sure if your phone isn't rooted, I have steps down below in the description on how to root your Galaxy Epic 4G Touch and as well how to install super user permissions and everything else. So if you already have that all done, you can finish this tutorial here by simply downloading a link that I have in the description below. Application name is called Wi-Fi Tether Trev Mod. Uh, this is the one that I found that works with the Jelly Bean release of the Galaxy S2. Uh, and I would simply put this uh, APK in the description down below of this video so you could directly and install it. I'm going to host it on my Google Drive so it will be easier for you guys so you guys won't have to click or see advertisements or whatnot. So once you have this application downloaded on your phone, I'll show you how to install it. So once you click on that link, you'll be brought up to another page and it would uh, say to download or it will show you it says uh, no uh, source available or whatnot. You just want to click uh, no document preview. It's going to say that and it's going to tell you to still download it. You basically want to click it and you want to let the file download. Once it downloads, it will give you an option here to use a package installer. So you want to basically click package installer and click just once. And you click OK. You click install. You let this application install on your phone. It'll, it'll take a, a, a quick time. And once it's done, you just want to click done on there. And it will create a shortcut on your applications list as you would see here it's right here called Wi-Fi Tether Trev Mod so once you have the application installed you just simply want to open it and want to grant user permissions on your device it's going to say would you like to authenticate uh, user permission super user permissions you want to grant them and once you grant them you want to let tethering start and the tethering as you can see here it's going to start the tethering process and once it's done it will show you that it's uh, officially tethered and it will show you the name and password as well. So you want to grant user permissions here. As you can see it's granting the user permissions. You just want to give it a while in order. This is the first time you know, after this it would be done. As you can see it says it's it started and the Wi-Fi tether is currently running. Once that's done, your hotspot is now activated. You simply want to go to another device that needs to connect to Wi-Fi. Simply turn it on. As you can see here, I'm using my Evo 4G Freedom Pop phone as an example. Go into your Wi-Fi settings, and as you can see, it's automatically connecting to my Freedom Pop hotspot. I just simply named it this. Uh, but once you would have the application installed, it will simply just say Android Tether, but you could always change the name. And as you can see now, it's tethering, so let's simply open up a website and see how long it takes, for example. Okay, so let me go on Google and show you the 3G speeds, I would say, right now. It's connected to currently 3G on the hotspot. So let's uh, go to YouTube, for example and show you a rough idea on how YouTube loads on 3G and as you can see here I only get one bar in there and I actually get one bar on the same phone as well so this is just a rough idea on how the network vision is in my area they recently just deployed it about the other day so it's quite not slow but not too fast I would say for the 3G I don't get 4G WiMAX inside my home but as soon as I'm outside my house, I get it. It's just that in my home, I get poor signal. It's not Sprint's fault. So let's go under a video and play a simple video on how it would look. Go under technology. Let's play Chromecast mirroring and show you what it's like 
on the 3G speeds. Give you a rough idea. Okay, so as you can see, it's loading right now. That one minute's already done loading. You can see. Could scrub through it. So that's just a quick example of what you can do with the Freedom Pop tethering. And once again, your tethering isn't unlimited. It's based on how much Freedom Pop data that you have available. Once again, I'm JR Flores. If you like this video, leave the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Let me know what you guys thought of it. And once again, I'm JR Flores. Have a great day.